Okay. Okay. Hi guys. Uh, today we will going to uh, present about how Hadoop will going to store the data. So whenever I say Hadoop, it will mainly contains two things. One is storage and other one is called processing. So first we will concentrate on storage part. So what is that storage part? So let's have a look over on it. The storage part for Hadoop is what? Hadoop distributed file system. So what this file system will do? This file system will go into divide and distribute the data. It will divide and distribute the data. So, how this is a different from a traditional file systems? So, we should have a differences between our traditional systems and Hadoop distributed file systems. Then we can concentrate on this HDFS properly. No, nowadays, you know, any framework will get started with something called network file systems. Okay, but nowadays this network file system is not a suitable for a big data processing. Why? Because if I am trying to place a file with a network file system, the file will be placed in a single location only. So that will store it in a single location. This is not going to fit nowadays. Nowadays, what you want, right? You have to see. You have to place a file that will just go into uses a file system called Hadoop distributed file system and that has to be divided into small small parts okay and the small small parts should be present in a each machine and each machine will going to have a NTFS only background so the data should divide and get distributes into multiple machines that is the main goal of a distributed file systems you will see after few days this trend will going to come to your laptops as well you can check it out Intel with Cloudera which will going to create a laptops with a distributed file systems. This network file systems is just like a single storage. If you store the data in a single location, you cannot really process the data faster. You might have a question, why should we have to process the data faster? In order to perform some analytics, you need more aggregations to be performed. If you are going to have an aggregations, your traditional way of storing the data is really not going to suitable to process analytics and anything. So to do that uh, computations more faster, you have to use multiple computers power that is called CPU intensive power. You have to take it out to do that one. You have to divide the data and it distributes into multiple machines. So the first thing we will go into talk for HDFS is what the system which will go into divide and distribute the data across the different systems is what the HDFS part which we going to concentrate right now. Let us say here divide. What are the advantages that this file system will going to provide by dividing the data? If I do not divide the data, let us what is the issue? If I divide the data, what are the advantages? So, this is the things that we going to address in this class. And also we will see how distribution happens. That's what architecture of right. Okay. So let's say here, what are the advantages of dividing the data? If network file system won't divide the data actually, what are the disadvantages? Let's say here, the network file system will going to store the data in a single location. Okay. Keep on writing the data into a single location. So there will be create a situation called hotspot. If you are writing the data into a disk always, okay, there will be situation called hotspot. So what will going to happen, right? With this hotspot feature, you will going to see a write performance get degraded like anything. Got the point, right? So why we get a write performance degrade? Let us take an example. Let us take a manager and resource. If a manager is a free, if a resource is a free, manager will assign a task. At that time, manager will going to receive the task very faster because he is free. So, writing a data into an empty disk is a very faster, right? But if you keep on writing the data into a disk, there will be a, some situation where the write performance will degrade it. 
So, instead of uh, doing that part if you divide the data what will going to happen right the data will be uh, written to a uh, multiple machine. So, you do not going to have a system ok you will go in you do not going to have a system which will going to store the data in a single location. We need some system which can go into place 1 GB data this 1 GB data has to be divided into 4 parts and has to be distributed across these 4 machines. So, writing the data into this empty disk is faster than writing the data all the data into a single disk understand right. So, by dividing the data what you can going to improve right the writes will going to improve, but remember do not divide the data as you like you are telling that yes if I divide the data the write performance will improve that is ok. If you divide the data as you like what you will going to see right your read performance will degrade. So, do not divide the data as you like you should maintain some constraint that constraint is what Hadoop will follow is called 64 MB for Hadoop 1.0 version and 128 MB that is for Hadoop 2.0 version ok. So, the main advantage of dividing the data is what you will going to increase the write performance, but in the similar way you should have a control on the divided parts in order to improve your ride read performance as well. So, by dividing the data if I do not divide the data I have a performance issues of writing and reading the data. I am not talking about processing here. So, processing is what applying some computations on the data I am purely concentrating on storage part. So, in the storage part reading and writing is what mostly performed rather than applying a computations parts ok. So, if I go into divide the data my writes and reads performance will improve a lot that is the first advantage of dividing the data. The second advantage of dividing the data is what let us say if you store the data in a single location let us say if the small part corrupted assume it if the small part corrupted the entire file will be lost that is the big problem of storing the data in a single location. The entire file will be lost why because a small part was corrupted yes of course it affects your entire file, but if I divide the data and if I lose a small part what will happen this particular part only will lost, but still the data will be available with other machines I mean to say other part of the data was there you lost only small part as yes, of course, Hadoop framework can retain that one also we will see that what was that concept called. So, by dividing this data right ok if you lost this part small particular part you can go you do not going to have an issue you will going to have the still file with the three other parts. So, that is what by dividing the data you do not going to lose the entire file if you a uh, small part was corrupted. So, you are providing something called high availability. So, this is what the other advantage of dividing the data and the very important advantage of dividing the data. So, we are talking if I go into place a file with a network file system it would not divide the data what are the issues. If I use Hadoop distributed file system the file system will divide the data what are the advantages. By dividing the data you can improve the read and write performance and also provides high availability. And the third one is what very important thing let me take one scenario everyone. So, let us say I will just going to give you one scenario let us say I have a data in a single machine let us say it is a 200 MB data and this machine has a speed about assume it 3 Mbps per second assume it assume it and you are copying this data from that machine to another machine let us take this takes half an hour. Now, if I ask you to complete this one within 15 minutes what you will do or if I ask you to uh, complete within uh, 7 and of minutes what you will do. So, I want to complete this one within 7 and of minutes instead of 30 minutes. So, you will going to say that oh if you want to do the if I increase the speed with a 3 if I going to have a speed with a 3 Mbps it take 30 minutes means I would like to uh, increase the speed with 12 Mbps if I use a 12 Mbps what will going to happen right this will be completed with uh, 4 times that one. So, uh, uh, 30 by 4 it will completed within a 700, 7 of min, 7 and of minutes that is ok, but you know nowadays what is th this is how you can going to improve the performance, but nowadays increasing the speed increasing the or increasing the capacity of the existing server is a very costly 
okay it is a very costly instead if you have divide its you know right that's what you know it is uh, it is you know let me take you one example let's take a server it is a uh, very impossible to maintain a ram with a 200 uh, tb ram or 200 gb ram but it is a uh, easy to maintain 10 20 gb ram machines right you cannot maintain one high end server with 200 gb ram it is easy to maintain 10 20 gb rams you got the point right so it is a so instead of maintaining one high end 12 mb uh, machine we will go into maintain four low end machines which is having each 3 mbps speed so earlier you have stored all the data in a single location when you have copied into that other slave uh, into other machine it takes lot of time about 30 minutes and you are telling that i will increase the ramps i will increase the speed transformation speed so if you increase this is very costly nowadays you can't maintain that one instead it is easy to maintain three or uh, four three mbps machines so now you have divided the data into four small parts and uh, try to copy this one into one location when you copy this one this will copy with a speed about 12 mbps per second so what happened here you will see that your network speed is greater than your disk speed okay your network speed is a uh, greater than a disk speed this is what the reason main advantage we can use the speed of the network while you are writing the data or you can while you are reading the data this is the main reasons why we have to uh, divide the data so as i spoke like a uh, hadoop file system will simply divide and distribute the data and these are the advantages of dividing it like improving write as well as read so as it have a uh, problem with that one it will just go into come with a uh, uh, division limit okay do not write the data as you like and also if small part lost you will going to have you will going to lose only that particular part not the entire file and the other part is what your network speed is greater than disk speed. So these are the advantages of uh, dividing the data okay if you do not divide the data we will going to lose this one and this are much needed nowadays to process a huge data. So this will going to help you to distribute the data as well understand it right? so now we have seen hdfs advantages of dividing then in the next video we will going to see how distribution happens hadoop file system means it will divide and distribute and we have seen why we have to divide in the next video we will see how to distribute the data thank you